we got to talk about the state of the franchise for the new reigning defending Super Bowl champions, the Los Angeles Rams. Now, let me take a moment to first congratulate the Rams for winning their second Super Bowl in franchise history. I want to give a congratulations to LA Rams fans out there because I know you guys have been waiting some time for another Super Bowl. You finally got it. I know the city of LA has to be incredibly happy right now and what the future has in store for this city when it comes to football because the Rams are still going to be in the championship conversation for at least the next three to four seasons and then you got USC football bringing in Lincoln Riley as their head coach, making a lot of moves in the transfer portal. Really excited to see what USC football is going to do. But this isn't about USC football. This is about what's next for the Rams after winning Super Bowl 56. So you don't really have that much cap space, which the Rams never really have that much cap space anyway. Like, I don't know what their front office does, but some way, somehow, they always find a way to free up some cap space. Now, what's going to happen with Odell? Because I'm not even going to lie to you guys. Like, when Odell got hurt in the Super Bowl, like, I was this close to crying and I'm not talking about just a couple of tears like I was I wasn't finna boohoo cry but I, I was finna do a decent amount of crying because like what happened to Odell Beckham really hurt me because Odell is one of my favorite players and he gets scrutinized by the media so much and OBJ is really misunderstood and the Rams really took Odell in with open arms and he was willing to sacrifice taking a less role to play for LA because he had offers to play for New England. He had offers to play for the Saints. He could have signed with any one of those other two teams and he could have had a big role in their offense he probably could have been their number one wide receiver but instead he decided to take a back seat to Cooper Cup and he was really important to the Rams offense like we saw what happened to the Rams offense once he went down with that injury they kind of went flat for a couple of quarters until they finally woke up in one of the final possessions of the game in the fourth quarter when they scored that game winning touchdown and Cooper Cup and Matthew Stafford went off the final drive on offense when they were trying to drive downfield and win the game which they ended up doing Cooper Cup had a game winning touchdown against Eli Apple but you look at Odell I would love to see the Rams bring back Odell and it seems like the Rams are definitely on board with having Odell Beckham back it just depends on one how much money is he going to get in free agency because even despite the fact that he has another ACL injury that he has to recover from recuperate from there are still going to be some teams out there who are going to give him um a pretty decent offer now he's probably going to get a bunch of one-year deals it's probably not going to be nothing crazy but I would love to see OBJ back in the Rams uniform now as far for when it comes to Von Miller now, I don't know if Von Miller is going to return. Like, I'm pretty confident there's a high chance we will see OBJ in the Rams uniform next season. However, can't say the same when it comes to Von Miller. So, the Rams traded for Von Miller during, like, the middle part of the season. And during the playoffs, he was a big, big part of that defense. And, I mean, their defense was already good before they got Von Miller. I mean, you got Aaron Donald, one of the greatest, if not the greatest defensive player of all time. Then you got Leonard Floyd, who a lot of people forget about, but he's also criminally underrated. He's also pretty good as well. So, for Von Miller, like, I don't really think it's a, necess a necessity that you have to bring him back. Like, you can let Von Miller walk, and you can still be pretty good because there are a lot of great pass rushers in the draft. Like, you can get a really good pass rusher in round four or five. Heck, even day three, you can get some developmental guys who may need at least two to three seasons to get some polishing in and some more development. And then you can end up having an eight-sack guy that you draft in day three of the upcoming 2022 NFL fell draft so for the Rams like you look at the fact that you potentially could lose Von Miller or OBJ like I think if you had the ass fans who they would rather have some fans are probably going to be split on decisions some fans will rather bring back OBJ let Von Miller walk and some fans will be okay with bringing back Von Miller and letting OBJ walk I just think that 
of the two that I could see coming back, I think OBJ would be the more most likely to happen because even though Von Miller's at a stage of his career where he may not be what he used to be and he's getting up there in age, you know, he's still a really good pass rusher. However, I don't think he's going to command like a salary where he ends up having to be paid like one of the top end pass rushers in the league. And maybe Von Miller doesn't care about money at this stage of his career. He's already won enough. Well, he's already made enough money maybe he wants to continue to win Super Bowls or maybe he doesn't care about winning championships anymore and he just wants to get a lot of money his final years in the league that he has left because he already has two championships the one he won this year with the Rams and the one that he won with the Broncos in 2015 now What's going to happen with left tackle Andrew Whitworth? Is he going to retire because he's one of the oldest players in the NFL? I think he's the third player in NFL history to play in the Super Bowl being 40 years or older. So really any day now when it comes to um, Andrew Whitworth, what's going to happen with Aaron Donald? Because there were some rumors coming out even before the Super Bowl started that Aaron Donald could potentially retire if the Rams win. So there are a lot of questions when it comes to who's coming back to Los Angeles and who's going to be in the Rams uniform next season. On top of that, you probably have a couple of offensive linemen who are slated to hit free agency, such as Brian Allen, their center. Um, he's a free agent. You got Austin Corbett, right guard. He's also slated to hit free agency. So are you going to be able to free up a NAF? cap space to bring some of these guys back can you bring back Odell can you potentially bring back Avon Miller but for Matthew Stafford okay Matthew Stafford showed everybody what we've been knowing at least diehard football fans have been knowing for some time that Matthew Stafford is a mad talented quarterback and he's a top 10 QB however we didn't really get to see how good he was until he got to LA because he was playing in Detroit and nobody really pays attention to Detroit because you know they don't really do that much they're not really good more times than not so Matthew Stafford going into this season man like he had a lot to prove and he definitely lived up to the expectations like the Rams sold the farm to pretty much get Matthew Stafford they gave a couple of first round picks away Jared Goff away and Matthew Stafford and Matthew Stafford you know he paid the Rams back in dividends by delivering them a Super Bowl and it's crazy how the narrative about Matthew Stafford has changed and just a snap in the season because you remember around this time last year everybody was saying oh no the Rams made a mistake Matthew Stafford has never did anything in Detroit never won a playoff game he's not going to be able to do it with the LA Rams well he wins one playoff game wins two playoff games wins three playoff games and then he delivers in the Super Bowl so I mean I guess that shows everybody what matters more you know, the win-loss record of a quarterback or is the win-loss quarterback affected by how good the coaching staff is, how good the team is, how good the organization is. It's funny how, you know, a guy like Matthew Stafford can succeed when he's put in the right situation to succeed with an organization that knows how to succeed and knows how to maintain success. So for the LA Rams moving forward, they're still going to be in the Super Bowl conversation. But, you know, when you look at the NFC, the NFC right now doesn't really have a lot of teams that you can look at and say, okay, like, yeah, they're going to be in the Super Bowl conversation. Like, outside of the Rams and the Packers, like, things are looking really murky in the NFC. So the Rams have a really good chance to repeat and at least make it back to the Super Bowl again because Tampa's gone. Well, we don't know what's going to happen with Tampa with Tom Brady retiring. So we don't know how the quarterback situation is going to plan out for them. We don't know what's going to happen with Aaron Rodgers' future and Green Bay. Is he going to get traded? Is he going to retire? Is he going to return? We don't know what's going to happen. So essentially, as of right now, the Rams feel like the only team who you can really put some money behind of yeah like they're going to be right back in the Super Bowl conversation next season so the NFC is 
not as tough as the AFC because the AFC has so many great young teams that have great quarterbacks and the NFC you really don't know what about the 49ers the 49ers it looks like they're going to be moving on from Jimmy Garoppolo and they are going to be kicking off the Trey Lance era so how good is he going to be so the Rams have a very good chance to repeat and at least make another appearance in the Super Bowl again but you guys let me know your state of the franchise for the Los Angeles Rams I appreciate you guys for listening to another episode of the JT Sports Podcast and make sure that you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're watching this on YouTube and check out the JT Sports Podcast available on every single podcasting platform Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify Podcasts, wherever you get your podcasts from, the JT Sports Podcast is available.